हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डूइंग डिरेक्ट एंड डिरेक्ट स्पीच टुडे पार्ट टू नाउ एज यू नो वी आर डूइंग ओनली फ्रॉम डिरेक्ट टू इनडिरेक्ट वी आर नॉट डूइंग फ्रॉम इनडिरेक्ट टू डिरेक्ट स्पीच सो डोंट कंफ्यूज योर सेल्फ जस्ट पे अटेंशन राइट नाउ एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन द फर्स्ट वीडियो पार्ट वन please see part 1 first and then come to part 2 we are on page 90 of your textbook the first two exercise we have finished now this is the third part where we change the word that is if there is now it becomes then this is changed to that these becomes those all the list is given in your textbook in pink color and we also have in part f that is we have questions how the questions when you ask a question in direct speech in indirect speech we remove the question mark and make it as a simple sentence so here let me give you an example in direct speech it is the asked my father said to me so my father asked me have you done your homework if i had done my homework or whether i had done my homework i am reading the example on page number 90 the second or the third last line please pay attention to where i am reading and explaining father asked me whether whether means if you can also use the word if instead of whether and if you are using the word whether be very careful with the spelling so my father asked me whether i had done my homework the last one i asked her where do you stay in delhi so i asked her where she stayed in delhi this is how the sentence from direct will be changed to indirect speech let me uh, the third exercise is already there but let me give you a few examples first of point e please pay attention exercise 3 you will be able to do on your own where the words change that is see if you have the fourth sentence today today will become that day of course the whole sentence is going to change but you have to special put special focus on the word today today will become that day yesterday which is in the first sentence what will happen yesterday will become the day before or the previous day so all these small small changes you are supposed to do i'll just give you a few examples pay attention they are not from your textbook she said this happened yesterday how will you change the sentence she said that again that had happened the day before she said that see this happened yesterday so again that this will be changed to that that had happened instead of yesterday we say the day before one more example of tomorrow mohan said i will go to delhi tomorrow mohan said that he would go to delhi the next day one more hari said the boy is here hari said that the boy was there here will become there so these are the few examples of the e part other changes the words how now has to change to then this will become that these will become those tomorrow becomes the next day last night becomes the night before or the previous night this is the way you will you, you can keep referring to these words whenever you come to the sentences sentences you will try to do on your own in exercise 3 i am not going to help you with the sentences right now i have given you a few examples and there is one underlined here also in the textbook so it has become easy for you the here has changed to there 
so these are the little little changes which you will keep doing you will use your mind and do i gave you a few examples also how you will make the changes let me give you a few examples of commands and requests there are of course a few example given in our textbook about the commands and requests so i hope now the questions are not difficult for you you will be able to do the sentences with the questions asked or should i give you a few more examples about the questions let me give you a few examples about questions see you can use the word in the questions okay we are not we have not yet come to commands and requests we are doing f i finished explaining e part to you now we have come to the f part F part is where you ask the questions. We have only two examples in our textbook, so I'm giving you a few more example. Please pay attention. She said to me, "Have you done your homework?" So she asked me if I had done my homework. Mohan said to me, "Do you play cricket?" Mohan asked me whether I played cricket. Mohan asked me if. i played cricket full stop no question mark required you can use the word whether or if here let us see one more hari said how much money do you have in your pocket hari inquired how much money i had in my pocket hari inquired how much money i had in my pocket this is how you change the sentences with the question marks so i hope now you have understood the changes of point e and f and you will be able to solve exercise 3 now we come to commands and request you know what are commands and request where you are commanding you are ordering and request is when you use the word please here they have given you for examples my mother said do you waste your or do not waste your time so mother advised here she is not requesting you she is advising you so my mother advised me not to waste time but to study hard leave the place the teacher said to the boys so you can say the teacher ordered the boys to leave the place that is my example four examples are given here and the exercise for does not look at all difficult i'm sure you will be able to do exercise four on your own the first one i'm doing for you halt shouted the surgeon so you can say the sh surgeon shouted halt rest are easy i'm not doing all for you then you have exclamation and wishes means where you put an exclamatory mark and wishes are when you are praying you can say she said she prayed that god might help her god might grant her her wish so that is called exclamation and wishes it is explained very well here on the next page where he said alas i failed again he exclaimed sorrowfully that he had failed again hurray is exclaimed happily and the third is she said to her daughter so she prayed that god might may has become might grant her daughter a long life this is how you will change the sentences with exclamatory mark and no more exclamatory mark is then put in the indirect speech and exercise 5 is what you are supposed to do we complete the chapter at exercise 5 the rest of the exercises we are not doing we are also not doing change from indirect to direct speech i don't want to confuse you i want you to do only indirect speech get thorough hang of it then the rest we can do next year so don't worry about it but as of now be very sure of going through your textbook in great detail doing all the sentences studying and reading all the examples given in your textbook and then solving the exercise 
I will send the answers to you as soon as possible but please don't copy and try to do it on your own one more time this is the end of our academic session means now no more lessons this is the last lesson for this year now we just do revision and prepare for the final exam okay so do this exercises till all these 3 4 and 5 very thoroughly and start revising as soon as you can bye see you for now